London's finally starting to get cycling and we're seeing protected lanes in the centre of the city. We had a north, south, east, west route put in a year ago um, in 2016 and we're seeing these mini Holland schemes in the suburbs and it's making a real difference. We have ridership up 50% on the protected routes and in fact some of the key bridges uh, when you go to work in the morning that will be almost 70% of the vehicles on the bridge will be Londoners on bikes. And now that we have the lanes, it's remarkable. You are able to relax um, and you just feel safe. It it's, it's really transforms the journey to work for everybody. We're starting to see a change in the type of uh, Londoner who's on a bike, uh, both tourists, children. We see more pensioners now using the protected routes. Uh, some of the routes are already congested. In fact, some of the questions are whether or not we need to double the capacity on some of the bridges. So Cycling Works London is a group of 200 businesses that are publicly calling for protected lanes in the city. In 2014, it was clear we had a massive bike clash threatening the two curb protected routes in the city. And four or five of us who were volunteers at the time decided that we wanted to win the argument that large employers in the city were overwhelmingly for this type of option on the street. We decided to set up a very clean looking website. We agreed with the London Cycling Campaign that to be effective we just wanted a simple ask for the businesses. It wasn't about backing the whole campaign, it was just about backing these two routes. And then we literally went out every single morning with leaflets onto traffic lights and we spoke to thousands, tens of thousands of cyclists um, in the morning and got them to then go and approach their own businesses. And we found that was what worked best, it was a bottom up volunteers and employees talking to their own CEOs was far more effective than any lobbying that we could do. We uh, had some rules about how the campaign would run, so we only accepted letters from the CEO. These are CEOs of businesses and technology like Microsoft, Orange, Unilever, the Financial Times, Coca-Cola, and they're all saying one thing, which is our employees have a right to get to work safely. So City Hall and Transport for London were just amazed to see this constant stream of supportive letters coming in from large businesses in the city. And we know uh, from having talked to them a year later that it was incredibly important at that time to making sure that the plans were not watered down either by the mayor himself or by the transportation department, the TfL. We also had a group of about 10 CEOs, managing directors, who we were able to use for press interviews. And it really changed the tone of the discussion. So I think the thing that's interesting about the Cycle Works formula is I'm, we're totally convinced it can be replicated. We've, we've already used it on three other campaigns in the UK. When I'm here in a city like New York, there are so many riders that will be working for large employers where it's such a simple ask to say publicly that I have a right to get to work safely. And I'm convinced that if um, you went out here in New York and worked hard for a few weeks, you could easily get you know, 100 plus businesses to talk publicly about why they would like to see more curb protected tracks in the city. And whether or not you're in Portland and it's Intel, or Salesforce.com in San Francisco, um, or a major business in Chicago, this is a campaign that can be replicated in cities across the world, especially here in the US.